In today's video, we are going to share everything that you need to know about how to form a holding company. We're going to cover what a holding company is, why you might need one, and what are some of the pros and cons of having one. Also, if you don't want to do the work in setting one up yourself, we're going to show you a platform that you can use to set it up for you. So stick around to the end of the video because you're not going to want to miss that. Okay, first, let's cover what a holding company is. Okay, so a holding company is created to buy and possess the shares of other companies, which it then controls. And holding companies have a couple names, such as umbrella companies and parent companies. They all mean the same thing. And these companies that a parent company controls are called subsidiaries or child companies. For the sake of this video, we'll just use holding company and subsidiaries. Now let's discuss what a holding company is. So holding companies don't generally run any business operations. They just hold stock in their subsidiaries. Now that's not always true. There's a difference between a pure holding company and a mixed holding company. A pure holding company doesn't run any of the business operations and then a mixed company runs some of them. But most professionals recommend that you just have a pure holding company and you'll see why here in a second. So what's the reason for choosing a holding company? Well, there's two reasons and it's really just strategy and protection. So basically the reason for forming a holding company is that you're going to shield the assets of one company from the liabilities of another. So the best way to understand this is the parent company at the top of a tree and then there's a bunch of branches that go all the way down to the different subsidiaries. The second reason why you might want to have a holding company is for tax benefits. Now you'll need to talk to an accountant for specific information for you, but generally holding companies are free from taxes on on their dividends. So why this is important is because the parent company is going to own shares in its subsidiaries and the subsidiaries are going to pay dividends out. Now, if you're an individual that's receiving dividends from a company, generally you're going to be taxed. So you have to talk to an accountant to get that figured out for your specific situation. Okay, so let's talk about some reasons why you might not choose a parent company. These are some of the cons of a parent company. Because you're creating another entity, it's inevitably going to bring more complexity to your business. And at the higher end for parent companies that own massive corporate Operations, there's so much more red tape and bureaucracy at the top. An example of this is that the government will try to prevent you from buying other companies that might create a monopoly in that industry. Now, obviously, you probably won't have to worry about this on a smaller scale, but just know that as you get bigger and bigger, this might be a problem. Okay, that brings us into the first step, which is creating your entity. Generally, this will be an LLC or a corporation for the protections that those two entities provide. Now, here are the five steps. The first is to get a business name. The second is to file the articles of organization with your specific state. Then you're going to want to obtain an EIN number. Next, you'll hire a registered agent. And lastly, you just want to make sure that you maintain compliance. We won't go into too much detail here on all these different steps. We have a bunch of other videos on the channel that will cover in depth of how to set up an LLC or a corporation. But I will briefly show you how to set up your LLC or corporation on a platform called Zen Business. Now we'll leave a link down below in the description to Zen Business. It's a really great and seamless platform to helping you get your business entity set up fast. Okay, so once you've clicked on that link, let's go ahead and walk through this really quickly. So for the sake of this video, we're going to be starting an LLC. Go ahead and enter your preferred business name here. Okay, once you're finished with that, go ahead and click start an LLC. Now it'll bring you to this page here and you'll see that there's five different sections that we have to go through to set up our LLC with Zen Business. So let's click, let's do it. Okay, so now they're going to ask us to confirm our business details. Once you've entered your business name, it should populate here. Now go ahead and select your state. So I'm in California. I'll go ahead and select California, but go ahead and choose the state that you're starting your LLC in. Go ahead and click next. Now you can enter here how much experience you have running a business. Let's just say none as if we're doing this like a beginner. Now it's going to ask you how much experience you have running a business. For the sake of this video, let's just pretend that we're beginners and we'll do none. Once you're finished with that, go ahead and click next. Now you have to answer whether your business is going to have employees in the first year. Let's just say it's just me. Go ahead and click next. Now it's asking you if your business address will be different from your home address. Now we highly recommend that your business address is different from your home address. And the way to do this is to get a registered agent service. A registered agent service is going to protect your private details from being on the public domain and it's a commercial service that's going to use their address instead of yours so zen business actually offers this service for 199 dollars but we have other videos on the channel that will help you get your registered agent set up in your specific state so i'm just going to say no but you should really get a registered agent whether it's with zen business or another company like northwest registered agent next it's going to ask you how far along your business is let's just say already making money now it'll ask you your business goals you can decide whether it's side business 
business, primary income, or the next big thing. I'm just going to pick side business here for now. Now it will ask you what the industry is that you're in. I will choose from this drop down here and I'm just going to select pet services. Go ahead and click next. Now you can choose to save your progress, but we're going to finish this application. So let's just continue without saving. Okay. So here they're going to sell you their registered agent service for $199 per year. Now this is toward the mid and high end for what a service like this should cost. Northwest actually charges $125 per year for this service. And we have a bunch of other videos on the channel of how to get your registered agent set up with them. So we'll be sure to leave all the links down below in the description for that. So for now, I'm just going to not select a registered agent service with Zen business. And then it's going to ask you to make sure that you know that your information will be on the public domain. Let's just bypass this by now. We're going to use someone else. And then it's going to ask you to make sure that you can meet the state requirement. There's a lot of requirements with being a registered agent service, like being at your business location from nine to 5 PM and a couple other things. So let's just say I want to appoint someone else for now. Okay. So now it'll bring you to the choose your package section here. Now there's three plans. There's the starter plan that starts at $0, the pro plan, which is the best value that starts at $199 a year and the premium, which is $349 per year. So the starter plan really doesn't get you too much. They just file your form for you. And then they have hundred percent accuracy guarantee, as well as a worry-free compliance. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see that that worry-free compliance is actually free for just the first year. And then it's $199 per year. But with the pro plan, which is $199 total, you get a couple other services with it, which we think is worth it. Like the EIN number, as well as rushed filing. If you're trying to get your entity set up fast, then pro is going to be the way to go. And then the premium version has these additional services here at the bottom added on like the business document templates, the website builder, the domain name with privacy and the business email address. For the sake of this video, let's just go ahead and continue with that pro package. We think that's really the best deal and it's going to be super seamless in getting your EIN number set up as well as rushing your filing. So we'll go ahead and choose the pro plan here. We think it's worth it for the rushed filing as well as the application for that EIN number that you will need. Once you finish with that, go ahead and click next. Okay. Next, it brings you to add banking options here. So banking options with Zen business are $5 per month after the first month, the first month is free. Now you can choose to use Zen businesses bank account, but we also will leave a link down below to our favorite business bank accounts that we recommend. Go ahead and check those out in the description. Let's just click no thanks for now and go to next. Zen business also offers a bookkeeping option here, but let's just go ahead and click no thanks and click next. They also offer a website builder for $15 after the first month. The first month is free, but we have a bunch of videos on the channel for how to get your website started for less than $3 a month. So this is a little bit high. Go ahead and check out those other videos. We'll leave it linked down below in the description. Once you're finished with that, go ahead and click next. Okay. We're getting through it here. We are almost finished. So this is an additional service for business documents. Let's just go ahead and say no thanks for now. All right. Now we're to the review our information page. Let's just go ahead and enter our name here. And then we can click at the bottom here, continue to review our order. Okay. Now we are going to review our entire order. So the total due today will be $269. And here's the breakdown of that. The pro plan is $199. This includes rush filing, worry-free compliance, an operating agreement, your EIN number that we talked about earlier, and the registered agent service is not included. That's another $199 per year. Banking we didn't include. We'll leave those links down below to our favorite accounts. And we didn't include the business add-on filing either or the website builder. And this California fee here that you see at the bottom is the $70 fee that you're going to have to pay to the state, whether you file through their website or use a third-party program like Zen Business. So Zen Business doesn't get any of this money. This goes directly to the state that you're filing in. Okay. So for $269, that is our whole package. When you're ready, go ahead and click continue to payment. Okay. Once you've entered your payment information here, you can scroll down to the bottom and click place order to finish up. Okay. So that was the first step in creating your business entity. Now let's go on to the second step, which is creating an operating agreement. Creating agreement is going to be very important because you need to have a clause in there that allows the holding company to create subsidiaries beneath it. You're also going to want to define the managers of the company as well as a board of directors if needed. Okay, that brings us to step number three, which is to create subsidiaries. Now, this might be the case that you already have these subsidiaries created and you just wanted to create that parent company. And in this case, instead of creating subsidiaries, since you already have them, all you need to do is add provisions to the operating agreement. And what you're going to want the provision in the subsidiaries operating agreement to say is that no changes can be made to the management structure of the subsidiary without the holding company's approval. This gives control to the holding company to make sure that they are in charge of the subsidiary. Okay, so those are all the three steps that you need to know to create a holding company. Now, just a disclaimer here, this is not tax advice. Please seek a professional to see what is right for your specific situation. Obviously with holding companies, this is going to get super complex very fast and you're going to want to make sure that you have a professional on your side. We'll leave all the resources that we talked about today in the video down below in the description. And if you do choose to use Zen Business, we do 
get a small referral fee at no additional cost to you. Thank you so much in advance for that. That really helps us keep creating free content like this for you. This channel is dedicated to providing entrepreneurs and business owners like yourself with free videos and tutorials like this. So if you enjoyed this, please leave a like and subscribe down below. Thank you so much for watching. We wish you the best on your entrepreneurship journey and we will see you in the next one.